Well, well, my friends, back here with the Tamiya Conghead 6x6, and as you see, the body shell right there on the RC workstation. Now, I usually want to have one of my RCs here on the workstation. That means I'm working on it, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing here. I tore it apart, my friends. So you go, you see the part of the chassis there, the other part of the chassis over there, some screws and parts laying around. Now, the reason why I tore it open is because I failed to do one thing when I was doing the build, and I should have did it uh, to prevent this issue from happening, but I forgot to lock the differentials in the vehicle. So if I wanted to use this uh, for, a, uh, for a crawler and hitting the trails and stuff, I need to have the differentials locked because they're not locked. And so that would cause an issue. And I noticed that when I was out running the Kong head the other day, um, that I would get stuck in this couple areas because it's not full-time six-wheel drive. So I'm going to take the differentials, which is right here, right here, and right there, and uh, lock the differentials so I can have full-time six-wheel drive. So I think when this thing is total six-wheel drive full-time, it's going to be a monster beast. Now, if you have not seen the transmission of the Kong Head 6x6, well, this is it. This is the G601 chassis. Now, the motor is planted right here, so it's delivering power to the front and then delivering power back here. So, there's a total of 13 gears, I think. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, 12 gears, so I was off, you know, off one. But uh, yeah, so if you've never seen it, there you go. That gives you a, a good platform of how it really looks inside of it. All right. So I'm going to show you how to lock the differentials, which is pretty easy. Now, there's a couple of methods on locking uh, a Tamiya differential. Uh, you can either buy the uh, locking pieces for it that goes into the differential, but they're like $13 a piece. So 13 times 3, that's a lot of money. Now, uh, there's another method, which I'm going to tell you about, and then there's the cheapest method where you can actually uh, apply um, hot glue, super glue, shoe glue, uh, some type of putty, JBC weld, uh, to jam up those gears inside of the differential, but I'm going to do a different route, uh, something that's more easier and more, you know, I don't have to wait for it to dry. So I got another uh, bellow gear set here that uh, I'm going to be putting into each one of the differentials by, by taking one of the spider gears, which is this little sucker right here, and just kind of wedging into the differential. And I'm going to show you exactly how to go about doing that. So, <laughs> let's get to um, taking the differentials out and putting those uh, pieces in there so I can get the six wheel drive. So, yeah. Now, I was going to film the whole process of taking the vehicle apart, but... Uh, I had a little trouble myself actually uh, trying to remove some stuff, but it's actually fairly easy after I kind of realized what I needed to do. <laughs> but uh, all right, so let me uh, put the camera on the tripod and we will get to uh, filming this, all right? So hang on. All right, so I got the first differential, which I'm going to show you exactly how to go about locking this differential. Now, you can pretty much do this on any one of the uh, Tamiya's uh, vehicles. They pretty much have the same differentials, the same parts uh, inside and outside. They pretty much almost have the exact same parts. Some might be a little bit different. But uh, this is the same um, diff that would be in... Uh, <laughs> my phone went off again. But... Uh, it's the same differential that's in like the CC01 and uh, some of the other um, vehicles they have. So we're going to do this. I'm going to take my screwdriver here or gun here. Unscrew it. Pop that out. And get locked on. that screw. Hands are kind of greasy right now from the grease I put on there. Okay, so we're going to pop this out. Now uh, I'm going to try to do it. See if we can do it. There we go. Haha, <laughs> just like that. So here's the setup, my friends. So that's the inside of the differential. 
kind of give you a good look at that. That's the, the whole differential uh, setup. So what I'm actually going to do is a fairly easy uh, method on doing this right here. It's, I have to say probably the best method, method to do and not using a glue method and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take one of these little gears here, little spider gear, and you're just going to wedge it right between right between it. So, do so like this, and just kind of just wedge it in there, like so. And let's take a couple of little tries to actually, you know, really uh, do it. But uh, once you get it, it pretty much will stay in there. So, you just gotta really know how to get in there. All right, so, what I'm gonna do so I'm going to put this little piece back in there, and I'm just going to tip it over, like so. There we go. That worked out great for me right there. All right, so, like I said, we're going to take the, the gear, and we're just going to wedge it in there. And just going to try to get nice and flush in there. And this is just going to really just jam up the gear so it can't move around. So, uh, just work it in there. Like I said, it might take you a little bit. It might go in there right away. It might take you a little bit to do, but eventually it will get in there and it will lock that diff. So, all right, all right, so, all right. So, all right. Like I said, just a little bit of time to get it wedged down in there and lock it in place. Um, Oh, all right, there we go. There you go, see it? There it is right there. So there's three like in a row and then, yeah. All right, so if you do that, we can put the differential back on there or the cover back on there. And let's see if we can do this in one shot, my friends. One shot, nope, not gonna happen. All right, so we just gotta line the plate back up, right? Somehow another, I will do this. I'm so close. That's what she said. <laughs> well, troubles, my friends. The troubles we have. The troubles we have. All right, all right, all right. Let's see this. Whoa, okay, 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 all right, all right. There we go. <laughs> I had to look at it a little bit more. Got that grease on my hands. So, did that. We'll just put the screws back where they belong. Like so. Plug it in like so. Get that gun. Lock on. Now I'm just going to go back and hand tighten them a little that way I don't really strip out the plastic or, or anything like that. So, there we go. Now the diff is locked and how about that? So now I have a locking diff and a little bit of weight to it but not much too much weight. So just slide back into, back in there if I can, uh, you know. Of course, you know, it's just a... Uh... Just like so. And now I'll have a locking diff, so once I put it all together. So, that's pretty much how it goes. I guess if you want me to show it again, I will. Um, but, you know, other than that, that's pretty much exactly how you're, you, know, you go about doing it. Very easy to do. Uh, it just takes a little time to take the vehicle apart and get that little gear in there. So I hope that this video helped you out. Uh, let me, uh, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hey, click that like button. I would really appreciate it or appreciate I would appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, I know I'm being blinded right now by the light of my studio. There you go. See, bright lights. But yeah. 
hope that you guys liked the video. If you did, click that like button. I would appreciate that. Uh, also, if you had not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Help me grow. I would really appreciate that as well. And, well, that's it, my friends. Nothing else to say. I'm going to get back to doing the other two of the uh, the, the, the Comcad there so I can get this vehicle out and test it and see exactly how well it's going to do. And I'll show you a video on that part, too. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, my friends. Later.